image-guided neurosurgery is where you take imaging, use it to guide you through neurosurgery. So if you're having a brain surgery, for example, you can take an image of the brain, an MRI or a CT scan, load it into a workstation, and use that workstation at surgery to help navigate through the brain, to help navigate to the disease process that you're trying to treat, and to avoid important structures that you want to preserve. Image-guided neurosurgery in the spine integrates robotics, so we now use imaging, robotic techniques, and surgery to treat spine conditions with great pinpoint precision. It's not that you can't do that. I'm not questioning the ability of a surgeon to do this without the robot, but think about it for a moment. It takes away one of the, the concerns of surgery, and that's precision, pinpoint precision in the placement of the instrumentation. So I do all that preoperatively. I take your x-rays, I take measurements using surgery maps to, to determine what position is best position for you, and then look at the preoperative CT scan and make the plan of where each screw goes. At that point, I know the robot is going to be precise. Sure, I'll use all my, my senses, every sense that I've developed over decades to know that the drill is going in the right place, the tap is going in the right place, and the screw is going in the right place. But in essence, that part of the procedure has been handed off to a robot that has pinpoint precision in the placement of these. So now I now focus on the, the delicate neurosurgery to make sure that you get the adequate decompression in a minimally invasive way. You get smaller incisions, less blood loss, less risk of infection, shorter hospitalization, or it can even be an outpatient surgery, and a quicker recovery. The methods of surgery are constantly evolving and we have to keep evolving with them as surgeons. I'm Jeffrey Larson, MD, board certified neurosurgeon.